Assalamu alaikum dear students. I am Riyaz Ahmed. Hopefully you all would be in the best of your health and doing very well. Once again, welcome to the online class and uh, as for uh, the previous lectures, what we have discussed, the very poem of Emily Bronte lines. As for uh, in previous lectures, uh, what I uh, just uh, I discussed with you people as for what the brief introduction to the poet and then what we come to the textual analysis of uh, of the very poem. Now this in this very lecture, lecture number four and continuing this what uh, the very poem lines. In this very lecture I will discuss with you people this what the theme of the poem is for the core idea of the poem is what the poem what centers around. Maybe what uh, is for uh, what the study question is, is for the poet reflection on death and what uh, she sheds a great deal of, uh, of light on the image of death. So as far if I come to uh, the very, uh, so it is the theme of the poem, is for what the core idea of the poem is, what the poem what, uh, is all about, uh, what the message of the, of the poet is, is for death. So let us start and as far in this very lecture, uh, I will dis discuss uh, at length the very core idea, the theme of the poem. As far, uh, let us start with introduction. As far, uh, the very poem is written by Emily Bronte and uh, as far, uh, the whole poem centers around uh, the very theme of, of death. So just in the introduction. Uh, this for this word, uh, a few words about this very poem is what the poem is all about and what this poem centers uh, what is there in the poem is for uh, from the very first stanza to the uh, last one what we do find in this very poem that is for what the speakers what the speaker the poet herself what she longs for what she desires for what she yells for for death, she wants to to die. She is ready for death, and she wants to live this very world, this 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 very life, this worldly life. She wants no more in this very life. She wants to to quit to live. Why? Why she wants to escape? Why she wants to live this very life? And why she wants death? Why she is so much ready for for death? She wants to die because she wants to the other world to the eternal world to the eternal life is for what that very life for her is something what blessing for her it is what all a relief for her but it is all just uh, is for uh, to free herself from the sorrows from the troubles from the pains of this very of this very life she wants all to be there is for what a sort of relief for her, a sort of a uh, uh, is for uh, um, satisfaction for her. So this is what we find all this that she wants, she wants no more to be here. She wants to live. She wants to escape from the very sorrows, pain, and troubles and sufferings of this of this very life. And she wants to be there. Is for what would be there after the life, what should be there in that very eternal world, all that what she is excited. This is all what she is very happy, that uh, what would be there is for no sorrows, no pains, no troubles, no suffering of this very life. All there would be she, what she feels it is, what she would be safe, what she would be all secure, what she would be all, so it is for relief for her. So now, is for what um, the whole poem is what the textual lines were supporting this very idea that uh, really is what is for she wants uh, this which uh, death she's ready for death and uh, she is ready to die and what is the reason why she wants this is for just come to the textual lines to the very poem and this which uh, is for what i would take uh, uh, the stanzas uh, one by one and then what uh, is for what uh, uh, going into the lines and uh, then uh, what we will see that uh, why she wants uh, death 
why she wants to be to be joy so let us come to the very first stanza is for uh, what the first stanza i die but when the grave shall press the heart so long endeared to, to thee when earthly cares no more distress and earthly joys are not to me so the very first is for uh, uh, the stanza is the very first line is for i die i die the very first, uh, this first line sets the tone of the very poem. She wants to die. This was all about death, and she is ready uh, for death. She welcomes death, and uh, is for uh, uh, she is uh, she welcomes she welcomes uh, death. She is excited. What about she is excited when the grave will press me, and uh, her the grave will press my heart. What is there in my heart? What the feelings are? Is for that I am uh, no afraid of uh, uh, death. Uh, this is no fear of, of death. And when the when the grave is for what the death will will touch me, will touch me, I will be no more no more afraid. There is no fear in my heart. Is for that I will die and the, the death will come. I welcome death. I am ready for. For that, I am ready to die. So this what it is something what is dear to to me. This is something what I I very much like. This is what I uh, very much appreciate. I love to die. It is something what uh, so dear to me. And when earthly cares no more distress, when earthly joys are not to me, why she wants to escape? This some this sort of escape escapism. This is what John Keats. This is what. Uh, the negative capability of his uh, this poetry is for what one of the features of uh, of his of his poetry. Uh, he also what wants to escapes from this very bitter uh, world, and she, uh, he wants to be to be anywhere else. Here, Emily Bronte also wants to escape from this very world, and to be to be hereafter, to the eternal world, where there is no such pain and troubles and sufferings. So this is what the very first stanza, what all this sh uh, shows that she is very ready for that. She wants to die. And for, for what purpose, for what reason? Because. Because here in this very world all there is troubles and pains and sufferings and nothing else. There is no joy, no happiness for, for the speaker in this very life. So she wants to be uh, there in the internal world where she would be all free from all these troubles and pains and all these sufferings uh, and sorrows. As far as come to the second stanza, uh, weep not but think that I have passed before thee o'er a sea of gloom, have anchored safe and rest at last, where tears in mourning cannot come. Again, this is what, what uh, the stanza what reveals, is for what the very theme of the poem, the core idea of the poem, is for that what she is uh, weep not but think that i have passed weep not there is no need of weeping of crying is for what uh, i will live this very life and the death will come and what i will live this very life no need of weeping or uh, something but crying but think that i have passed before the or sea of gloom it is something what uh, something unfortunate for me or something tragic for me or loss for me that uh, I am living and I am going from this very world and going to the another world and what would be there no 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 this what no need of weeping or crying I am so excited I am so much very happy because what this very life is for me a sea of gloom a sea of gloom it's what a metaphor this what it is the life for the speaker is a sea of gloom it means it, it it is a sea a sea of full of a full of sorrows and pains and troubles so what i want to i'm 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 exhausted i'm very tired of of all these is for what the life what the life uh, cannot what giving me some something and i uh, don't want to be here so what is for i have passed before the or sea of gloom it means what uh, now I am going, I am going to the another world, 
to the eternal world, to the year after, and what living this very life, a sea of gloom what for the speaker is. Have anchored safe and rest at last, where tears and mourning cannot come. So he's for in that very life, after the death, what would be the life for me? Is for what all safe, what all uh, I would be there at rest. It's a sort of relief for me. So here yeah, this what uh, for the speaker, for the poet, is for, uh, is for the death is a channel, a transition for her. A transition from this fairy world to the another world, to the internal world, to the hereafter. And this is what she, how she welcomes death. How she is, uh, this is what is for ready to die. Because what, this is what a channel, a death is channel for her. It is something what a transition for, a medium for her. And this is what death will, will do for her. When we, she will die and she will go into another world. This is what, some, this is what a, a transition for her. And it was something all a relief for her. All this what she is safe there. She is at rest there. She is all safe from this what the bitter realities of this very world. So this what the death for her is. The third sense that this I should weep to leave the hair on the dark ocean sailing drear with storm around and fears before and no kind light to find the shore. So it's for this what uh, the third stanza is. Again this what, uh, what the worldly life for, for the speaker is dark ocean. But, uh, the negative is for the adjective for this very life is dark ocean, just like ocean. It's sort of a vast ocean. And what a dark one. There is no such light. There is no such light in this very life for her. It means no joy for her, no happiness for her, no satisfaction for her. And uh, this is what uh, this very life is something a dark ocean for her. And this is what she is living a life is for what full of all sorrows. Of, of all pain, of all troubles, and with storm around and fears before. This is what all. A dark ocean, and this is what the ocean is all full of storms, of all this what of darkness. There is no such light. And she is just like what she is making a voyage, just like what making a voyage on, on, on sea, an ocean, and what this ocean is all dark but all full of storms. This life is just like uh, this what a dark ocean for her. And she's well all surrounded by troubles and pains, a lot of uh, fears, of sorrows. And no kind light to point the shore. There is no such much salvation for her. There is no such much uh, uh, light for her. This is what the light is. What the light is, just a relief. Just a relief from all this, uh, from all these troubles and sorrows and pains. There is no such light. There is no such salvation for her. One just one salvation for her. This is what one way for her. And this is what the way is, just death. She wants to die. She wants this what death. Because what the death is, the death is what uh, uh, is for what this channel is. The death is all. This what that after that what she would be, she would be all safe from all these troubles and pains and sorrows. So this what the death for her is. And uh, the last one, but long or short though life may be, this nothing to eternity. We part below to meet an eye where blissful edges never die. This what the life for her is. This what a very short a brief life. A very temporary life, and what the uh, this what this very life uh, couldn't be compared to to this uh, is for uh, to the eternal world to the eternal life, and this a short life. This what a very temporary, a brief life. It, it, it is it 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 is no comparison with this what the year after. So is for what she, she wants to depart. She wants to to live. She wants to die. And for what purpose she wants to die? This is what is for what the, the purpose is, what the reason is that where blissful edges never die. Where there would be all blessings. There would be all happiness and joy. There would be no pains and troubles and sorrows. No fears. 
So if I were to all this, what the, the poem is all about, say, from the very first uh, stanza to the last one, what the conclusion is, all these what stanzas and all these what the words or all the, the tone of, of, of the poem is, it is what all about death, all about death. The speaker, the poet herself wants to die. She welcomes death. There is no such fear of death in her heart. There, she is no afraid of, of death. She wants to die. And this is what is for what the death for her is. It is something which uh, a refuge for her. It is a channel where she will be uh, this what uh, this what a transition for her. A transition from this very life to the other life. And where there she would be all safe, all at rest, all at ease. So all this is what is the, the core idea, the theme of the poem is all about death. Thank you very much.